Hi everyone, I'm Joey. Today we'll be making this uh, big built-in bookcase. Okay, in order to make this uh, job make a little more sense, I'm going to show the install first and how it all goes together and then quickly go over uh, all the other bits after that. <clears throat> so the first job, once we got the, the base carcass in, was to start assembling the left and the right side and the top panel, which will sit up against the ceiling. It seems more and more these days people want bigger, chunkier looking bookcases and you know the bigger they are the heavier they start to get and so you have to be able to essentially bring it in completely flat and work out a way to assemble it on site and so this is one method i'm trying it seems to work so far where the dominoes are doing most of the work in this case this top piece that's touching the ceiling really isn't doing anything it's just sitting there to look good so there's not much weight or any forces really on that joint it just it needs to hold together Before we lifted it right up, we added the lamellos to the top ceiling section. I think we drag it slightly towards us, stand it up, because we don't want to put too much. But the dominoes are doing a lot, but we don't want it to do this. No? We don't want these to flat this way. Right. I think we're going to get some. So I wonder if we kind of grab fairly low. If we just make sure, I don't think we need to really worry about the top. If we just make sure we don't go high than five mil, say above. Right. Yeah, just keep your eye on the bottom. And really try not to smash the ceiling. Right, so the benefit of having the adjustable feet at this point is now we can wind the whole lot up um, close to the ceiling and we have avoided having to scratch the ceiling, which is a bonus. In theory. In theory. So these feet take uh, 200 kilos each in uh, vertical force, so there's more than enough there if, in, uh, if anybody is uh, wondering. So this is the, one of the two dividers going in the middle of the bookcase. And I'm going to use these lamello fasteners to attach it to the top piece, which is touching the ceiling. But because we have to slide it in, these little locating buttons are going to be in the way. So I'm going to just try and hack them off. And watch me do this. Yeah. I'm not sure if these pliers are going to get in there. Nope. I can just break it off. Nope. Okay, I need another plant. There are three display shelves through the middle of the bookcase and they are fixed in place and so they're going to hold all the verticals in the right spacings. So the next thing to do is to add the Devario system and get those shelves into position. So the corresponding part of the Devario system slides into a fitting groove and they actually have built in uh, small nails. So this jig is actually nailing in the plastic fitting, which uh, really holds everything in place and makes it work. So it's really cool. Okay, so I'm having to delete the middle cam lamellos because I didn't think about it enough and they're not going to work. So the shelf has a groove running down it and the cam sitting in here hits on the, the fitting on the side of the uh, carcass, which you know was obvious, but now I just worked it out. So uh, we will delete those cams. I'm pretty sure that these shelf uh, devarios are strong enough, but I uh, just wanted to give myself some extra policy there, but we'll just run without them.
So with all the critical pieces in place, we can now actually position the unit and screw it into uh, something solid, or you know what we hope is solid timber. In this case, I missed uh, any kind of timber, so that is not ideal. Anyway, I got rid of that screw eventually and uh, put one in the side stud. Okay, because we didn't have any luck with um, getting any timber on the corner of the ceiling, because I think they've used a, a steel, what they call a rondo here, um, so it's pretty hard to screw into it. Um, I'm going to go through the side of this bookcase wall on a pretty steep angle and tie into the stud, the corner stud of the wall. And I've made an oversized hole here, which will drive my screw into. Uh, and then just after the screws in, we'll fill this hole up with some caulking and uh, that should be hidden as well by the shelf which is about to sit here. You'll see there's a gap above the, the top piece there and there is actually a bow in the ceiling, I actually did check. Uh, which is not uh, great, but we can fill it. The good thing is everything is white, so that makes things look pretty nice. Uh, at this point, before I get the corking out, we slide in the toe kick, which is very tight. So it's just friction fit. Then start the corking. And, you know, I, I probably would cork this even if there was no major gaps, because I really like the fit and finish of a painted surface onto a painted surface, uh, having a just a really clean, smooth transition. Um, so I would probably do this anyway all the way around. I really do like the, the way it looks and blends in. I know it takes extra time to mask all the way around a unit and then do the caulking, but for me it's a lot less stressful knowing that I can be a bit more messy and use the masking sometimes even to wipe the end of my um, the caulking gun. Um, just a lot less stressful and I find the result is really good. That is a bookcase installed. Now if we rewind right back to day one, um, the way this was built will probably make a bit more sense now. So I'm using a 30 mil thick, that's three zero millimeters thick, um, poplar plywood, so it's quite lightweight. Now I need, needed to extend the top and bottom pieces of that lower carcass because that, that was 2.7 long, something like that. So I just used the lamello and some um, dominoes to join that together. So the end panels of the lower carcass were double thickness. So everything that is thick is 60 mil, all the rest is 30 mil. So it's a simple matter of throwing together a couple of pieces of plywood. And on the 60 mil panels, I'd allowed for a six millimeter MDF capping. Seemed like the easiest way to do that. So the top and the right hand side panels needed to be 60 mil thick on the face, but obviously it would be a waste of plywood to fill it all in. So they just have a, a false front there.
I guess the most challenging part of this build was working out the sloped display shelf, the fixed shelves through the middle of the bookcase. Um, this is pretty simple, but just working out how to do it made me think a little bit. All right, so this is the display bookshelf. There's three of them. I'm going to use the Lamello system to install it. I'm going to use two different types of uh, Lamellos. One on each side, front and back, I suppose. Uh, they're the DeBario system. They're made for shelves. And you can slide it in between two verticals. It clips into place. Uh, they're de designed to hold like 80 kilos each. Um, but because this is on an angle downhill, I don't want the shelf to be able to slide back out at some point. So I'm going to add a third uh, Clamex fitting, which is the cam locking version. Um, that way, once these slide in and the DeVarios click into place, I can then crank it down tight and it's not going anywhere. Um, I've never done this before, so let's see if it works. First thing is to use the lamello to create a groove along the side of the shelf. And then you can reset it to plunge to cut for the actual fittings. Alright, this uh, lamello system is very good, but it's not made for putting things on weird angles. It's really good at uh, doing what I need to square to the face of my carcass, but like this it's not so good. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm really just making this up as I go, making sure I'm looking at the right set of lines. And what that does, uh, it's got a couple of little pins on this jig, and that gives me center points for the corresponding part of the Devario system. Last thing on those shelves was to add the fronts, because it's a sloped shelf, don't want the books to fall off. Nick was busy uh, getting all the connections for the, the large panels, so lamellos and dominoes. And then with all the 30 mil shelves and the two verticals, we could add some um, half mil pine veneer edging. The toe kick needed to be longer than 2.4, so I just used, again, a lamello uh, cam connection to join two pieces and a small return mitre as well. Then it was on to paint. We primed everything, then sanded, then rolled on two coats of the color. After that, it was a whole lot of sanding by hand at 320. And this is the stage I like to spray it. I've just knocked off all the tops of the lumpy bumpy bits. It feels very smooth. I don't sand till it's completely matte. I still leave some bits of pieces of uh, the sheen there. And then I can go to spray for the final coat. So the final coat of paint had dried for a weekend and the Monday morning is the morning of the install so I could start putting the base unit together which was fairly simply just screwed together.
Last thing to do was to add the feet. And I think I mentioned before, these are rated, I think, 200 kilos a piece uh, for vertical strength. So pretty good for this application, I think. And that is a simple-ish bookcase build. Uh, the homeowner was home for the install and she was super happy with it and started putting some books on as we were still there. But uh, in the end, I think it turned out really well. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.